By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I have a game for you between two revised decks. So you could say this is kind of budget old school. Um, revised is my alpha. I started in the revised um, with Magic the Gathering. So that's probably why I have a special bond with this set. And in this game, you will see uh, Mamo Tijin in a blue green build taking on the Shivan Dragon in a mono red build. So the player on the right is playing mono red and the player on the left, that's me, is playing blue and green. Enjoy. And here we go. And let's see who gets to be on the play. And we're just shuffling our decks at the moment. And oh, there we see a roll. So I guess it's the one that's probably, the uneven number is probably red. So I guess uh, my opponent is on the play here, playing a mountain passing turn, playing an island here, a second mountain. And let's see, what can I do? Um, I do know I play with like four Lanawars, um, so, and four birds. Okay, so there's a Lanawar elf with that tropical island that I played out, gives me access to green mana, so that's great. And what can my opponent do here? Usually they, yep, that's what I wanted to say. Usually they remove it pretty quickly, especially when playing against red with a lot of direct damage. Luckily he uses a fireball um, because that can be problematic when you're playing with a lot of small uh, mana dorks like Lanoir Elves in Birds of Paradise. So there he goes. There's a Dragon Whelp for four and there's a Power Sink from my side. I personally feel that the Dragon Whelp is a little bit underplayed. I think it's quite a good creature, a 2-3 flyer that you can pump. Um, and I don't see it often uh, when I'm playing old school. And there's three mana and that's, well that's an interesting card, I believe it's called a ma mana short. And you play during the upkeep of the opponent and the opponent has to tap all their mana and they cannot use it uh, anymore. They don't get mana burn, so if we would play uh, Eternal Central Rules, which we are not, we're playing Swedish, uh, then it's not a way to give my opponent a mana burn. And there's the Gargoyle, and there's a Power Sink again. That's too bad, because, oh, this is interesting, a Lightning Bolt on the Birds of Paradise. So that's uh, Bolt the Bird, and that's been happening since the start of the game. So like forever, birds have been being taken down by a Lightning Bolt bolt and six mana so that means yes shivan dragon so we talked a little bit about the shivan in the intro and here is the shivan and yes here is the mahamoti jinn a five six flyer against the five five shivan dragon i do believe that the red player has some advantage here over me because obviously you can pump this five five shivan dragon <laughs> there's another shivan dragon two shivan dragons here and i don't believe that i have um, any removal in this deck, I just have counter spells, maybe an unsummon, could be, I don't think so. Anyway, I'm playing a book, so hopefully that can give me some card advantage to draw into a solution, maybe a second Mahamoti. Ooh, but there is a Shatterstorm, so I lose the book. And um, I've pumped my Mahamoti, so that doesn't make it, um, that doesn't make it a good plan for my opponent to attack. Um, and I have to put a minus one, minus one counter on there. And I have to pass turn, so that's a very bad sign. And there is another, another granite gargoyle here. So he's building quite an air force there. And look at that, it's very impressive. And there are two Shivan dragons coming at me. So I'm blocking the one and he pumps it up, obviously. Um, killing my Mahamoti Jin and putting me down to 14 life. And this is looking very bleak for me. Okay, Winter Orb, I guess that works in this deck with the um, the four birds and the four Lanawars, but I mean, it's not gonna save me here and there. there's nine damage um, coming in here, I believe, or eight damage. So it takes me down to six, five life. Okay, so I guess it was nine damage. So what can I do? I'm playing a forest here. That's not really going to help me. I need to take care of his flying army. And there's even a lightning bolt. I'm showing an uncivil mutation. I have nothing going for me here. And I'm losing this game. Uh, so mono red, should I say, the Shivan dragons take this one and they take me down. I always enjoy playing with these revised decks because you just get to play big, beautiful creatures like, you know, 
Force of Nature, Mamoti Jins, uh, Shivan Dragons, Sengir Vampires, all these classic creatures that I remember when I started. Uh, because like I said, at the start of this, uh, this video, um, Revised is my alpha. And I'm actually curious, what is your alpha? What is the set that made you start uh, Magic the Gathering? Did you start before Revised or did you start after? And what made you start? Um, for me, it was definitely the flavor. Uh, and just the uniqueness of the whole game. Uh, for now, thank you uh, for watching this episode. Thank you for watching Timmy Talks and for following this channel. If you'd like to see more games, you can uh, click on the playlist uh, that's on the screen right now. And see you next time at Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. <laughs>